platform of your body online and uh, yesterday we did five simple moves to get rid of your mummy tummy. Today we're going to do seven more uh, intermediate level moves to get rid of your mummy tummy. But please remember, you cannot out-train a bad diet and you need to have the proper mindset. But we can talk about those later. For now, let's come on down. If you do have a half roller or a whole roller, you are going to use it. I'm going to show you some moves on there. But come all the way down through here. And just a quick recap, um, but you can watch the video that we did yesterday. You squeeze through the rectum, the pelvic floor without tensing your legs, and you pull your pubic bone towards your hips. And you think of your belly button like a waterfall where everything's collecting at that belly button, pushing down. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders, and just release. So we're going to bring our legs up to tabletop and keeping this, the stomach from pushing up. You're just going to extend your right leg. So your leg can go up here a little bit easier, lower down a little bit more difficult. Now, if your back does this and you lose that connection, then you need to go back to the simple moves that we did so that you can um, learn how to strengthen through the belly here. So, put your hands on your, your tum tum, pull the pubic bone to the ribs, pressing down and lengthening through here. Good, and then we're gonna bring the leg back in and reset, make sure that your back is pressed in, belly button is in, and extend the left leg. So these are more intermediate moves to help Flatten the mummy tummy, get rid of the mummy tummy. But remember, diet and exercise and mindset, it all works together. Good, and then bring the legs in. Woo, excellent. Another move I like to do is take a yoga ball or a miracle ball or even a roller and put it between your knees. And again, roll into that pelvic tilt Pull that belly button in, and you're just going to squeeze and release the knees. Again, super simple, but highly effective. To make this a little more challenging, you lift the knees up. Good. So that would be another exercise. Okay, I love a roller. If you do not have a roller, I highly recommend. I use a half roller and a whole roller a lot because I love it. So this just helps to fire up muscles in the core that we don't use if we're laying on the ground. And through here, we're going to do the same thing again. So pelvic tilt, squeeze through the rectum like you don't want to poop. And then squeeze through like you're doing a Kegel. Good. And then pull that pubic bone to the ribs, soften through the chest and the shoulders, and pressing the lower back into the roller. And then from here, we can do what we did yesterday on the floor. This is just a little more difficult and pull those knees up. Now remember, do not let go of this engagement. If it starts to let go, just release, relax, and then regroup and set up again. So you can also start from here and do your toe taps. Again, making sure that tummy, when those legs come down, does not push up to the ceiling. You want to pull everything in. I know sometimes we like to do harder movements, but then we get sloppy and then we end up hurting ourselves. So another move we can do, again, is regroup, um, rectum, pelvic floor, bring the legs up to tabletop, pressing that lower back in, pubic bone to ribs, chin to chest, relax your shoulders, face neck, inhale and extend the right leg. You can lift up the right and left arm. Good, and pulling that pubic bone in, relax your shoulder into the joint, holding here, you can do things like straightening this leg. Again, it's all working on the base that we are strong through the core, holding through here. Good, so really squeezing, you want that area working, you don't want to just do the moves and come back to center and coming all the way down. Those are such great moves to do. So we can also take both legs up. You can point, flex, relax the feet, whatever works for you. Sometimes I'll put a block between my knees, so let's just do that, just to make sure those legs are fired up. So squeeze through the rectum, the pelvic floor, relax the face, neck, and shoulders, pull the pubic bone to the ribs, feel everything going down into that belly button, 
And now we're just going to lift the right arm or left arm up and down. Oh, this one's a little harder for me. And up. Breathing. And down. Come all the way down. Making sure you feel the work again through the belly here. All right. I've lost count of where we are, but we'll do one more here. This is a fun one I like to do in class. Um, working on some balance, and again, squeeze through the rectum, the pelvic floor, relax the tension in the legs, chin to chest, soften your shoulders. Both legs are up here. You can work on one arm at a time. Again, if you start to lose through the core, go back, back, back until you build the stability. And then I love just playing around with the lifting, both arms up. Good. So again, my core is working. Inhale, slowly floating the arms down. Excellent. So those are just some, some moves that you can build on what we did yesterday. Um, but remember, please have the basics. I know it's fun to try more advanced exercise, but keeping to the basics and then building from there just allows you to get stronger and helps to flatten through that tummy tum. Thank you for joining me today, and if you would like more, I'd love for you to join our classes at Move Your Body Online, where we do, oh my goodness, Pilates, yoga, stretching, strengthening, HIIT, Tabata, abs, lower body, upper body. We do the whole gamut, it's lots of fun. You get live classes and recorded classes. Anyway, mwah, have a beautiful day. Reach out to me if this inspires, motivates you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.